So you're probably wondering what the heck are we doing in the break area at certain firearms? Well, here's a hint. This is some funny stuff. You probably think it's lead, but it's not lead. It's something called Woods Metal. And it's kind of like lead, it's heavy like lead. But the cool thing is, it melts at 158 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's really useful for fixturing because this thing needs to be fixtured. I'm going to uh, pour some woods metal in there and have it hold its shape like this so I can do some, some more machining operations on it. It's going to be pretty neat. Okay. Yeah, normally I would make some kind of internal machine, some something to go inside, some kind of block that would fit in there, a nice close tolerance. But the whole point here of using this fixturing alloy is to get away from spending time on doing crap like that. Okay, and you know we don't always don't always have space for hot plates in the shop. So sure, we'll balance it on the trash can. Why not? In case you're wondering why these things are all spread out in this weird sort of triangular shape, Valerie has some kind of a, one of those, I don't know, paper cutting guillotine things. I don't know what the hell they call them, but uh, it was all cheap and crappy plastic and really lightweight, so I poured a bunch of this in the bottom of it to give it some, give it some manliness, some toxic masculinity. But it worked for a bit, but it didn't stay in very well. It's been on there for several minutes. I think something's starting to happen. Yep, definitely. Yeah. See, it just moved. Yeah. Stuff is gonna happen. Oh yeah. See that stuff in the bottom. Melt, melt. You know what, I'm going to get a torch and help this. Haha. -ha. We had a little bit of fuck you from the hot plate, but now here's a whole bunch more for fuck you from a propane torch. Yes, you will melt now. Die. Something satisfying about melting metal, huh? Oh, damn it. My daughter's calling. I'm going to pause it here. No, I'm not going to pause it. This is very important. Come back in a minute here. Yeah, it's not perfectly lined up, and like I said, 
normally I would machine myself some kind of big plug or mandrel or whatever you want to call it to go inside there but yeah we're just gonna we're gonna machine the bottom here and uh, it doesn't have to be perfectly aligned for that it's pretty damn close all right yeah I, I did vertical video there I don't know what happened I'm sorry I, you know this is uh, you know and, and just to make up for it this is the proper procedure for you know if you happen to do vertical video this is what you're supposed to do to yourself of course you know pray to your deity beg forgiveness promise to never do it again unless your deity of choice is satan then you don't have to say anything because you know vertical video comes from satan all right now the you know swatting the crap out of your own back that's uh, that's optional that's basically if you do vertical video twice within a video so you don't have to do this part but obviously he did it twice yeah it hurts a little bit <laughs> all right All right, so where were we? I don't think I have enough in there, so I'm going to stick more of the block in there. And out will come the torch again. Just to speed things up. And plus, we like melting metal, don't we? Oh, look at that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spoon it. Like Detective Spooner from iRobot. No? Oh, look at that. Wow. It's so shiny when it's melted, isn't it? How about this? We just ladle, ladle it on top of there. That's pretty fun. Should be a whole video just on... Is there a video? Is there a channel on... Melting, melting stuff. The melting stuff channel. I know there's a hydraulic press channel where they squash stuff. That's kind of fun. You know, we're gonna get some of the ugly stuff out of there too, like, like those characters. Yeah, this is really fun. You should buy this stuff just to play with it. Even if you don't need to use it for fixturing. Hey, at some point, you think it'll float on top of itself? Like the solid leftover piece will float on top of the molten liquid? Tell me in the comments before it happens. Yeah, that's just fun. Probably bad for you too, by the way. This is probably, I mean, it is, I, I can just kind of smell a, uh, I have a, it has kind of a soldering smell to it. Uh, and it makes sense. So there's, there's definitely a fair amount of lead in there. So these are lead fumes that are coming off that I'm smelling, which, you know, I've already led a pretty much, pretty much a full life, so I don't really care. Just kidding. I don't mind dying. I want to die of something interesting, though, not of lead poisoning, okay? This is the guy with a container of mercury in his office. Look at that. It's like the Terminator. What was the cooler Terminator? The, gosh, this happens when you get old. You don't remember stuff like that. Oh, it's all gone. The liquid metal Terminator. What was he called? Damn it. CS, CS01 was the first one. Is it the T, T1000? Yeah. The Terminator T1000. Something like that. All right. So, can you get that? And I'm going to grab it with my big heavy welding gloves. But I'm going to change the camera first. Okay, grabbing this stuff, man, sure be nice to have an actual pot 
with the handle on it, this could be very bad if it fell. Oh, <laughs> this is going to go all over and it's going to splatter and it's going to hit me. You know what, I'm going to use a spoon. Yeah, that could be very bad. Oh. So many issues. Still like this. Oh. Well, it's, it's kind of leaking out the bottom a little bit, but it won't do that for long. Because it'll it'll cool off and solidify. Ooh, splatted my first little bit on the table there. Oh, you know what? It's not it's not really it's not really sealing at the bottom very well. Hell with it. Come out of the bottom like crazy. Oh, boo. <laughs> it's the Terminator 1000. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the liquid metal man is taking over. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, it's bad. Nice thing about this Terminator is that he melts at 158 degrees. Oh, look at that. So, to get him molten again, it doesn't take a whole lot. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, yeah, pretty much every bit of that came out the end. So, uh, hey, that was fun, though, right? Got to see this stream of, of molten woods metal i'm just gonna go and duct tape it you know why couldn't i think of that in the first place i'm american right duct tape <laughs> it's like a volcano oh look at that going into the servo firearms piano thingy oh i should have done that while it was going right I gotta practice more first. That would have been the perfect music to have going while it was. Yeah, no, it wasn't going fast enough. What a mess! Let's uh, get off the tripod here and take a look. Can you touch it? Is it super hot? Oh, no. It's actually solidified already. Well, close. Ah, I'm turning into the Terminator. Check this out. It's not really solidified. It seems like it on the surface, but if you hit it, look at that. It splats. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Some of it's still still melted at the bottom. Yeah, it's only 158 degrees. That's uh, you know, it's, some people take a shower that hot. Yeah, this stuff is this stuff is so wild. It's <laughs> the cleanup is awesome though. Look, you can see it completely changed its color now. It was nice and shiny. Now it's just all kind of matte matte finished. But look, it just just comes right off the table about as strong as a cookie. It's still hot, but not very hot. And this thing's still a mess. Yeah, I told Valerie I was using her 
Pyrex dish here, and she's like, no, nah, it's got sentimental value. I'm like, what the hell dish has sentimental value? It doesn't make any sense. But then again, when she was growing up, we used to call her the not make sense girl. It was mostly because she was trying to talk when she was like one, and she just didn't really talk as well as she thought she was talking. Messy, messy, messy. The great thing about this stuff is that it uh, it actually contracts a little bit once it cools down. So, <laughs> see that? It's not stuck at all. It is metal after all, so we'll just leave that in there. It'll it'll remelt, just like when the Terminator it is T1000, right? The T1000 drops a part of them off. Somebody chops it off. He just puts a body part up, and it just sucks right back up into it. Is there anything that can't be solved with duct tape? I don't think so. If you wrote a book on it, it'd be a really small, short little book. This is really cool. I can't wait till this thing's, thing's finished now. It's gonna be so freaking cool, huh? So, I'm gonna try again. And, uh, you know, it's not gonna leak out this time, so it's gonna work great. Ready to go. Here we go again. I'm not going to screw around with spooning this time. I'm just going to pour it right in because we know it'll work. You know what? Just because this melts at 158 degrees doesn't mean can't get hotter than 158 degrees, right? <laughs> Here I've had it sitting on the hot plate. Yeah, it could be really hot. Hmm. Well, it can't be hot enough to melt duct tape because duct tape is indestructible, so I'm going to risk it. Perfect pour. Can you tell I used to be a bartender? Whoa, shit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, pride goeth before a fall, folks. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, boo. Man, you know. Oh, I forgot to mention, I even... Uh, I tack, tack welded it this time. I'm trying to cool it off, it's not going to be cooled off. It's just going to run right out. I don't know. Yeah, God. Alright, should I do it? Shoot. I need to practice more. I have a machine somewhere. Boo! Look at this. It's terrible. <laughs> so this time around, I actually tack welded it a couple places just to give it some real strength, and I don't need to clamp it this way. Um, obviously it, uh, it melted the tape because as I was 
just saying out loud as I was thinking about it, just because it melts at 158 degrees doesn't mean it can't get to more than 158 degrees, and that's obviously what we've got here. Uh, it just melted tape. So I'm going to wrap aluminum foil around it <laughs> on the third drive. getting my universal American helper thingies mixed up. Aluminum foil and duct tape can solve pretty much all of your problems, but you got to use them in the right place, in the right order, whatever. See, that wood's metal got hot enough where it, uh, it melted the crap out of the duct tape. But it won't melt aluminum foil. So now even if the duct tape melts, it's just there kind of holding it in place. Holding the aluminum foil in place. So I'm going to do a couple more wraps here and there. What the hell? Let's just cocoon the damn thing, right? Third time's a charm, maybe? We shall see. A little bit coming out. Damn it. Well, maybe that. No? Thought I might have spilled it over the side, but no, it looks like it's coming from out there. I don't know. I think it's good, damn it. Finally. Unfortunately, it's just barely halfway full. from before, wasn't it? Well, I'm going to take a look. So I don't see how it could leak like that now. That's already dry. I think we have success this time. Well, the Woods Metal did its job and I was able to successfully machine the receiver. I'm getting really close to finishing this awesome Beretta AR70-90. I appreciate you checking this out. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.